Are you about to video? All right, we're all the way up here at Sassafras. We're not all the way yet. We're just sort of getting started. But beautiful mountain, I mean, beautiful rock formations, as y'all probably have seen on other videos. But you know me and my rocks. I love my rocks. And there we go up there. Way up there. It's a beautiful day. So, anyway, just sort of capturing some of the autumn and pretty trees. Not not a lot of views right now, but we'll get them. Like I said, sassafras is just taking it easy. Later. And here's another rock just sort of standing guard over the trail. It's a pretty little walk up through here. There again, gorgeous day. Here's a good vantage point from up on Sassafras. Just gorgeous. It's a little hazy this morning, but it's just burnt off, you know. So it's in, we're in the 50s, so I got a short sleeve shirt on and enjoying the day. It's just nice little breeze. Have a good day. All righty. Cooper Gap, and this is High Tower Gap, heading over. All right, and we're headed back down the trail where the cars are. Later. Well, we're here at Hickory Flats. It says Shed and Cemetery, and we're about to head up Hawk Mountain right down that way and you can't see it from here but is the shed in the cemetery later good morning guys well I'm leaving and I've just already left uh, Woody Gap we're gonna do a little short four miler today uh, so there's back to Woody Gap to the parking lot and then we're coming up here and here's Dr. Mud and shows where we're going. And here's some people coming down the trail, but we're heading up that way. We're gonna go to Preacher's Rock later. Look what we see up here going to Preacher's Rock. Gorgeous. Nice overcast day, but I don't know how much of a view we're gonna get at Preacher's Rock, but it's okay. Still a nice day with a little breeze and beautiful scenery. Okay, later. Get a little higher. You can see some pretty scenery. Comes Dr. Matt up. That's over west of the trail. And then look at here, got a little great little spot for somebody to bed down for tonight. It's all in there. Beautiful. Somebody had on a nice bed. And then we're gonna go a little bit that way and then back to your right and we're headed to Preacher's Mountain. Let you know when we get there. It's gonna be gorgeous, I hope. Later. We are at Preacher's Rock. It is fabulous. Not seeing as much as you'd like to because of the haze, but it is still gorgeous. You can still see some of the trees down there, different colors. Like Halo said, this is one of the prettiest views in Georgia, I think. Can't see, so I hope I'm doing you okay. All right, later. Okay, here we are over at Preacher's Rock.
Hi, this is poor old Lance Creek. Bless his heart. It's just barely flowing. It's just not like I'm used to it. I guess it's, we just hadn't had a whole lot of water, a lot of rain. So, anyway, just came over there and we're going to head up the trail. All right, later. Hey guys, we're at Cooper Gap and they're playing Army. They're, we've seen two medical trucks go one way uh, down Forest Service Road 42 and one the other way. So they're, they're playing little war games today. Anyway, we're starting off. It's a beautiful day. I know you see the sky starting to clear off. It was real hazy yesterday, but we had a good hike from... Um, Woody Gap to uh, Henry Gap, and now we're headed. Good morning, Dr. Mudd. Good morning. And it's going. We're heading, heading over to Gooch Gap, 4.7 miles, and we're leaving Cooper Gap. Okay. So have a beautiful day. Later. Oh, here comes the sun. Yeah, the sky is trying to clear up up there, guys. Little clouds in the skies. It's beautiful, though. I can I can deal with that. Nice and quiet. And we're heading up this way, north. Now they, these may not be camellias, but these, these look like camellias. That may be its sister. What do they call them up here? Rod rhododendron or? Rhododendrons, yeah. Or uh, Where I come from. Mountain laurel. Yeah, here's, here's these cute little, look like little umbrellas. Little, or little pine trees, but they're not. They're just pretty nice and green. Nice little patch of them. Just looks pretty in the forest with the brown and it's pretty green. Look at here. We got us some dancing trees. Let me back up a little bit. I think I'm a little too close. There we go. Look at them dancing trees. My goodness. They having a good old time this morning. We're walking all through here. They are beautiful. Oh my goodness. There's one right in there. You can see him, he's a big old one right there. Oh my goodness. They are just fabulous, just dancing around, having a good old time in the woods. If we hadn't come by, Nobody would see them dancing, but I see y'all. I think you're beautiful. Uh, they go through there. Ah, uh, just, just a beautiful little walk in the woods this morning with Dr. Mud. She's going to have to go home tomorrow because of a storm coming in Pensacola area. So we're going to be stopping this little adventure of ours for now and pick it up probably in January because we're both busy through the rest of November and the rest of, and in December. So anyway, just gorgeous. I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. I am so nice to be in the woods again. And it's nice to have someone to walk with to later. All right, we're here at Justice Creek. Isn't this nice? Listen to that water. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. 
And that sun coming down on that water. Gorgeous. It goes on up in there. Not as high out there again, guys. The water has been really low. I've been really surprised. And it just goes down there. Just as creepy. A lot of people come here and camp at night before they head on up to Woody Gap. Brian's song. I changed a few little words, but Tim O'Brien's song. Yeah, and then you that. are. I am. I'm Strummy Stick. The name is Mike Carbono. I'm from Bethlehem, Connecticut. All right. So you can find more of this on uh, on my Facebook for the last three weeks. I've been going crazy with it. All right. Travel with less and less. I've tried it all, and the simple way is the one that's best. <laughs> I save a lot of time not having to choose what kind of shirt to wear, which pair of shoes. <laughs> Don't need no big guitar to sing my song. Wherever I land, I know I'll get along. Yeah, I've been up and down this trail, time to chew. Now I try to travel around with less and less. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I spent so many years just towing the line. The prettiest girl and the fastest car working nine to nine. <laughs> I carried that weight and it nearly broke my back. Really lost the ones I love getting back on track. <laughs> Wasted lots of time and I still feel the pain. I won't be traveling down that road again. Yeah, I've been up and down that trail time too, I guess. Now I try to travel around with less and less. Mm -hmm. In the morning, a little wine at night. Mm -hmm. Feel somewhere in the middle, think I'll be all right. I've got my pride, I got a smile to greet the day. I met a friend or two to help me through when I lose my way. <laughs> Don't need no fine guitar to sing my song. Wherever I land, I know I'll get along. Yeah, I've been up and down. Try to travel around with less and less. <laughs> I've been up and down this trail a time or two, I guess. Now I try to travel around with less and less. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> All right, so Here we are. this is a, cum uh, a cumulative of 18 years, yeah, correct? Yeah, it's been 18 years of, uh, of, you know, of section hiking, you know, like weekends. Mm -hmm. Uh, some long ones, some 400 mile one in in Virginia. That was my longest until this trip. This trip was 534. Wow! That me, brings me to the end. Tomorrow's the big day. Wow! And uh, you know, and there have been seriously hundreds of weekends. Wow! You know, going up. I did Vermont Long Trail, the 200 mile. You know, went up, did the 100 mile wilderness one week. Uh, you know, I mean, could go on forever about it, but. You know that's that's the way my trail has been going. Wow! You know, not, like, You're my it, hero. It's not a, it's not a tr it's not a through hike. <laughs> it, it's anything but a through hike. But well, hey, you some, did somehow, it. You know, somehow it's been 18 years. It's and you happened. did you you I'm did it. Thrilled! I'm like a babbling idiot. Tomorrow <laughs> is the day. You know what I mean? <laughs> Well, I'm so congratulations and all thanks right. for sharing and, it with and, and, us. And all the best on your hike. Well, you know? thank you, thank as, you. As, what did we say before? We said. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll have our romantic dream. We'll try to do it. We'll find out what reality gives us. That's right. And we'll, 
and we'll yeah. we'll find our joy in that. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, and we'll like like uh, Dr. Mudd said, we'll fill in the gaps. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Gooch All right. Gap is the next one. That's right, <laughs> yeah. Goose Gap. That's right. the next gap we. That's fill right. In. Yeah, for you guys. Well, thank you so much. Well, thank you. You enjoyed it. You guys. You and guys good luck good. to you, and uh, on to the next adventure. Yeah. Hey, you know, 68 <laughs> years old, many more. You know? Hey, you're looking good. <laughs> oh, looking great. Never looked this good. You know? <laughs> oh, no, I understand. <laughs> oh, yeah. You. Thank you. Yeah, thank I've been you. In a long time. <laughs> All righty. We just left Cooper's Gap, and now we're over at Good's Gap, and it says 4.7 over. To Cooper, but we're here. Cars right down there. So, and here's the trail. Doctor Mud heading down. We're through for today. Okay, later. Morning, guys. We're at Tuscany Gap. We're gonna head on over to the Hog Pen. Just doing a little day hike. You go that way, there's the elevation, 31, 38. And a lot of people here hiking today, so that's great. And so we're going to, there's a blaze right there. And we're going to go up this way, and it's a good little ways. I remember I'm doing this because, <clears throat> just to get in shape for my, through hike in February so I'm just where I live there's a blaze where I live is pretty I mean there's some little hilly hills but not not nothing like the trail so I decided that this is probably 10 minutes from my house I could go up and down this and I go up and over and down to uh, to the gap, and then uh, and then and then you know get in a couple of miles, but they're tougher miles than what I've been doing. So, and I may string them out and make them a little bit longer, but it's getting hilly, so I guess I will. Uh, Start concentrating on my breathing and hiking, and uh, we'll whoops talk to you later. So here, let's see what does it say. Hog pins point nine from here. Later. Yeah. It's going up there. It's beautiful though. Hope you can see it because it's sort of hard with these glasses on. But it's starting to wake up and a little hazy over there. Coward Mountain over there. Anyway, that's where I came from. And yeah, you can still see some cars down, so I hadn't gone very far. Tell you what. Uh, there's something said. I'm gonna switch you around. So hi, good morning. There's something said about getting on the trail. I tell you what, I hadn't breathed this heavy at all, starting, you know, with my hike over there. I mean, I, I'd get a little out of breath, but this is this is tough. Anybody's done this area knows it's a hard half mile up, and then of course you got to go down on the other side. Or come back down this side and I'll decide when I get up there according to my fitness level if I need to just turn around and come back <laughs> and I've seen a lot of ice um, on you know that it's been real cold up here not as cold as it's gonna get but it's been real cold so we're uh, expecting you know almost to the well until the minuses with wind chill over the you know Friday and Friday morning I think it is so this was Wednesday beautiful so it's in the 40s so this is great hiking weather for me um, and like I said the terrain is just outstanding um, it just really 
I could turn around a little bit and get you, let you get a little bit of that, even though it's not woke up yet. But anyway, um, it's nice out here. And I uh, miss you guys, and I will check with you in a little bit later. Whoops, I need to turn you around. Here you go. You know I love these rocks. So we're heading from here up there. And then there's a beautiful rocks. I know there's a lot of rocks in here. Okay, later. Getting closer to the top, we'll get a better view, but this is sort of a pretty view. I don't know if you can see that through there. So, and we got to go over here and up there. And I think there's be a view over there, so I probably shouldn't even showed you this one. This one just seems so pretty through there. Later. Oh my goodness, here's some of my dancing trees. And then there's that nice, nice rock formation. Oh man, I do love these rocks. Just beautiful, the trail goes up here and then around in front of that. Wow, and then on up. Ah, beautiful day to be out. Thank you, God. Later. This is the view I was thinking I was going to see a while ago. But, and it's still hazy over there. But, uh, I'll still show it to you. And it was a pretty view. I mean, I just got a different, it's a different rock. You know how you, false summits, that was a false rock. <laughs> All right. Have a good day. All right, guys. This is really the view I've been chasing all day and remembered and for some reason kept seeing fake views, which they were good, too. But here we go. This is why we climb mountains. Just outstanding. I hope you can see it because it's hard to see with this glare. But came around here. This is a beautiful old tree growing into that rock. Yep. And then it just oh, opens up. Fabulous. Let's see if we can get a little closer. And there again, I hope you're seeing what I'm seeing because it's just beautiful. I hope y'all are having a great day. It's just, I am so grateful to be alive and to be out here, be healthy enough to do this. I'm not in shape by any means, but you know, I'm getting there every step, so just keep on stepping. That's the way I'm looking at it. Later.